Ourselves. ourselves. Craig Middlebrooks. Samantha in the boardroom, Miranda in the bedroom. I know it's not ideal, but it's who I am. This is my friend Madison. She's amazing. And she drove me here. OK. Look at me! OK, here's what's happening. I want to auction off a personalized Johnny Karate song tomorrow, so I need you to come to the auction. <sighs> auction? OK, yeah, let me write that down. In the world, and England's got a new queen. Everybody's really mean. We it's on fire. It was all. Well, this is different from what I expected to find. Oh! Good morning, guys. Good morning, Leslie. What did you do to the office? Ron, you're wearing my yoga clothes. You're going to stretch out the elastic. We're sorry. Hi, I'm Donna. Oh, that is the perfect name for you. I love it. Never change it. Wasn't well, Donna. You're Craig, right? Oh, yes, I hate that name. So boring. Sound like someone's cousin, Craig, Craig. I want to be a Spanish man named Terrence, but that didn't happen. OK. So here's my list of duties. I'm basically the office manager. How about you? Oh, I did everything. Everything. I carried the Eagle Thing department on my shoulders for years, and I loved every second of it. You don't even know. The new site looks good. Nice work. Oh my god, these dogs are so cute. I want to throw up and kill myself. Animal Control had to take in all the pets from Eagleton, and Crazy Craig used to run all their shelters, so he helped me make an adoption website for all their dogs. If you can look at that site and not want to take home 50 dogs, you're basically a war criminal. <laughs> See, the way that dog is rolling around in a puddle, that's something Andy does when he gets hot. Wait, well, you're right, that is so Andy. Oh my God, that dog is totally Tom. Tom. I don't know why it doesn't look like him, but it just is. It's like the dog is the essence of Tom. <gasps> okay, important meeting in the conference room right now. We are going to all pick our spirit dogs. Oh, I've got to pick up Gail at the airport. Larry, I swear to God, if you leave right now, we will make your spirit dog a miniature schnauzer. Is that bad? Yes! Get in there! Hello, everyone. Thank you all for coming to this wonderful and Calm event. Our first item up for bid is two all access VIP passes to the Unity concert. Let's start the bidding at $40. Do I hear 40? Thank you, 40. We can beat this. 50? Anyone for 50? $50. Thank you, sir. Terrific. Any higher? No? Well, that's fine. We're all just calm and happy people enjoying ourselves together on Earth. Sold. For $50, how magnificent. Leslie, that's less than face value. You need passion, zeal, showmanship. I don't have the gavel, so I'm powerless. I respect the hierarchy of the auction. Donna, April, Wine Country Train is leaving the station. You ready? I want to come. I love wine and everything about it. The soil, the vines. I studied botany for three years at Purdue University. Go Boilermakers! Give it back! Ah! Ah! It's OK. I'm fine. Stay relaxed. Oh my God, there's blood oh. everywhere. Call a doctor. No, call a coroner. It's disgusting. Ah, I can't handle all this fighting. It's like Thanksgiving 2004 all over again. Don't even ask. Somebody follow me, I'm distraught. I guess we can make a switch to Bermuda grass. It's only 80 cents more per square foot. What? Gimme, gimme, gimme. You want me to put Bermuda grass in a continental climate that's a six on the Beaufort scale in a park with zero drainage? I want Kentucky bluegrass, I want a 10% discount, and I want you to apologize to my best friend, Donna. Yeah, hi. Is there, and I'm just guessing here, some kind of medication that you maybe need a lot of and have taken none of, or maybe too much of today? Oh, I have, I have a medical condition, all right. It's called caring too much, and it's incurable! Also, I have eczema. Oh. Now remember, it's about finding a dog that captures your spirit. See, this is Craig. <laughs> oh no, that is insane. I will burn this place to the ground if you pick that one. Okay, good choice. It's New World, Northern California, Napa Valley. Some place beautiful and warm and amazing where everyone is in great shape and the night sky is full of stars. I sold everything on the auction list, no thanks to you people. What's so wonderful that you're all celebrating while I do all the hard work? We're having triplets. <laughs> oh, great. First, my cousin Winona gets into a car accident the night my one-man show opens, and now this. Why are my accomplishments always overshadowed? Congratulations, I suppose. Hey, that's nice of you. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Big plans tonight, Craig? No, I have a ton of work to do. 
Plus, my DVR is 13 months pregnant with episodes of Scandal. Scandal's my favorite show. I love every character, except for Melly. Oh, of course you like Scandal, because you're amazing. I love you. And no matter what happens with this job, I will always love you. Excuse me, who even are you? That was so spot on, it was scary. I need to go lie down for 45 minutes. No, an hour. A full hour. Mike Patterson is Eagleton's most tenacious reporter. When he sinks his teeth into something, he's like a dog with a bone! Oh my god, you can't lean in to whisper and then yell. That's not fair. Time, Andrew. These kids are tearing my house apart, and I need you to calm them with the power of song. Oh gosh, here's the thing. I can't do it. I got laryngitis. You will not bail on me, Andrew Dwyer. You will perform. My nephew was something of an outcast in his school, and I got Erica Sorvain to come, which is a huge get. She rules the first grade, and this party will determine his social status for the next hundred years. So you better get out there, or I am going to lose it. Have you not lost it? Well, you don't even know! I'm going to go home and feel totally fine. Who am I kidding? I'm going to go home, put on a Macy Gray album, and cry in the mirror. Why are you bummed? Are you all blind? I want that job at Tom's Bistro. I've been trying to show you for the last five hours. Look, man, you know your stuff, but you're like a crazy volcano. You'd have to show me you can bring it down a notch. I'll bring it down a thousand notches if I have to! May I assist you with a wine tonight? Yeah, I'm having fish, so maybe a full-bodied red? You know, sir, you might want to consider something white to go with your fish. No, red. And bring some ice cubes. I like ice cubes in my red wine. I'll have a glass of your most expensive red wine mixed with a glass of your cheapest white wine served in a dog bowl. Silly straws all around, please. I'll be right back with my recommendations. Seems to be keeping it together. What kind of monster orders red with fish? I, I know they're messing with me and it's just a test, but have some decency! For you, sir, a light crisp pinot with just a hint of lemon to bring out the flavors in your fish. I brought you a bold Cabernet, which should still taste okay when watered down. And for you, madam, uh, would you consider this rosé? It's halfway between red and white. Thanks very much. Enjoy. Mm. Think I may have found my new sommelier? That was so embarrassing! I'll have to make sure the wine cellar at Tom's Bistro is soundproof. Okay, focus up, you little monsters! Not you, Erica. You're an angel and we're thrilled you're here. Now, a soft opening tomorrow. From now on, everyone call me Kristen because I am wigging out right now. <laughs> uh, the sawdust from Ron's chairs is everywhere. My sinuses are on the fritz and smell is 90% of taste, maybe 95. Okay, Craig. Donna's gonna be your wine taster. You guys will work as a team. Fine, but if he raises his voice once, once, I'm out. Please don't stick to that policy. April. The new Parks intern start today, and I was wondering if you would deliver a little welcome speech. No, go away. Watermelon martinis, exposed brick, Carrie Russell's hair. Why do you just say those weird things? On the advice of my therapist, Dr. Richard Nygaard, whenever I feel like yelling, I just take a deep breath and say three great things about being alive. Gross. Yes, can you tell me where Jennifer is? I convinced her to quit. Oh, Martha Stewart's apron line, my tomato plants. Oh God, I'm out. Where's my emergency list? Recently, I've been feeling like I've wasted the last 10 years of my life, and it all started with this internship, and I don't want those kids to make the same mistake, okay? April, you spent the last 10 years doing amazing things with this parks department and learning from the greatest teacher in this or any business, Leslie freaking Nope. You'd be a checkout girl at a gas station if it wasn't for that internship. Sweet potato pie, unlikely animal friend pairings, Jennifer Love Hewitt. Why are you all in my office? We are on one last mission to help the people of Pawnee. Craig, can you sign the requisition form and speed things up? You know, Craig, when I first met you, I thought, there's a man who loves his job. And then I thought, oh, wow, he's intense. And then I thought, oh, no, he's insane. That person is psychotic, and I need to call the police. Yeah, that's usually the way it goes.